morning. Got the old coffee cup. Looking at my troughs. Let me get me a sip and put it down. And So, right here's my garden area. And we'll get that planted off soon. It's still a little cold for pepper plants. And I don't want to do it. But here's my troughs. And I got some onions going right now in here. There's another one. There's another one. And there's a bunch planted down in through here. And I gotta get it cleaned out. It rained a little bit and blew in some debris. We don't want none of this to start growing. So, you know, clean it out a little bit. Get it going. And down here I got peas going. They should be up in a few days. You know? You said you can just use whatever you want to grow in. And like my husband and I, we went and we ain't got nothing down here in this end. We went to Rural King and got us some feed troughs. Because, you know, we live, in, we live in a city neighborhood. You know, not a lot of yard. And not a lot of landlords will let you dig stuff up. So, when I lived up in Ohio, I started teaching people what I call urban gardening. And that's where I teach everybody just to grow vegetables and herbs and things and, and what you got. You know, I mean, my husband was doing bucket gardening and those do good, but certain things you can't, you don't, don't do do so good in buckets. But now you can grow in just about anything. And I've learned that, you know, I got to keep these carrot seeds. Oh, looky, 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 look. Where's it at? Look right there. Look right there. Ah, diggity dog. Got a carrot coming up. Well, I was saying, you can grow in anything. If you got, my allergies are all, you know, tis the season. As you see what I'm picking out of here, I'm allergic to it and I sneeze and carry on and of a morning I'm so stopped up that it's terrible but anyways you can grow in cinder blocks and you can grow in little kitty pools that you ain't using no more if you got one of them laying around you know and uh two millions to doing all right there's another one there's another one oh, I'm just happy but we'll learn how to do this together and I'll teach you some some cool stuff that I used to do classes on up there at the greenhouse and everything teach people again what I called urban gardening growing what you can you ain't necessarily got to have that green thumb like everybody says oh I don't have a green thumb well you ain't got to have a green thumb <clears throat> just plain it Plants need, just like we do, we need food and water, right? And mainly, we need more water than we need food. So you can fertilize, get you some health, you know, make sure you, your soil's all healthy and stuff like that. But, just give us some water. And Mother Nature does the rest. You'd be surprised at what kind of color of thumb you got. If you just tried, you know? So, that's pickings for this morning, I guess. Get all this out. Just wanted to show you what I'm working with. Well, actually, we'll go up through here. We'll get my coffee. Get it back up off the ground. And I'll show you what plants I got so far. Okay, so we're going to go back in. I got my plants sitting here in front of the door get them some sunshine and some heat because it's still too cold. These pepper plants, they don't like cold weather. They'll pout and they'll shrivel. These little leaves will just curl up like, oh, mama. And so with them little them cucumbers right there. They don't like cold weather. And these tomatoes will be all right. I got you some oregano and some basil. 
some chives. Those are gonna go in the, well now the tomatoes and this will go in the garden. These will go in the troughs. And then I'm gonna put these along the side of the house in my flower beds. And well, that's another one for another day. So when we do that, I'll show you how to incorporate vegetable plants in with your flower beds. Till then, good day.